Howdy y'all, welcome back to Camshack Productions. Today we are up in the beautiful Uinta Mountains and we'll be spending a little time enjoying the view and making some delicious pad thai that you can also make when camping. The one thing I can tell you about any camp meal, the more prep you do at home, the better off it'll be once you get out into the wilderness. Again, I feel like one of the best tricks for making a great camp meal is to do your prep work. Here, I'm just slicing the chicken and I'm trying to slice it nice and thin so that it'll cook evenly and quickly once I get it out to camp. Once your chicken is sliced and prepped, place it into a Ziploc bag. This is where you'll store it. Now, the key to this is always garlic. I find it's one of the best things you can use and I just throw the whole clove in. Also, for those of you that keep your ramen packets, this is a really great thing to use anytime you're cooking a fried rice or a pad thai or something like that because it's got a good MSG flavor and it adds a lot. So I'll just keep those packets, pour it in. Next thing I add is a little red chili. Want to spice it up and make it really delicious. Don't do anything special, just throw them in, let them marinate. And then the last ingredient is your wet and you always want to make sure you use plenty of soy sauce. This turned out to be an excellent flavor for the chicken. I also will take it, mix it really well, seal the bag, and then I will put it into the container that I'll be taking it to camp in and freeze it overnight at least, and just let all of those marinades run together. Once you've selected your camp, the next step Set up your stove and start to boil some water so that you can pour it over your noodles. This is a really key factor. Don't boil the noodles themselves, just put them in your pot, spread them out a little bit, and dump the water right on top of them and just let them sit and soak while you do the rest of your cooking. Just like a good fried rice, you want to make sure that you have all of your ingredients chopped and ready to go before you ever start your actual cooking. Right here is the chicken that we've been marinating, still a little frozen, but that's okay. We also have some cilantro, we'll be adding green onion, garlic, and serrano peppers to the mix as well. But I always just like to get it out, get it ready, get it prepped. I always like to start by cutting my green onion, and I will use my green onion in two sections. I will place the whites and all of the lower parts into the actual cooking itself, and then I'll cut the long greens. Sorry, this is the part in the video where I almost cut my finger off. Had to censor it for YouTube. Ouch, what a day. After making sure that all of your green onions are chopped, we'll go straight into the garlic. You wanna mince it into a nice foreign garlic. I use three cloves and then serrano peppers. We're gonna use two, we like it hot and spicy. Really, make sure you take the time to chop everything up, dice it nice and small, and then just leave it set aside until you're ready. We'll also wanna get our garnish ready. I like to use these nice little cheap hot peanuts. We didn't have any other way to smash them, so use what you have around. Voila, just like that, you have your peanut garnish. Next thing you wanna do is make sure that you get your burner running and you have a very hot pan. A hot pan is crucial in all of your cooking for this. Then make sure you add a little bit of oil and just let it sit for a little while. Again, any kind of food like this, you want it to cook fast and hot, so be patient at first. We started with the chicken because it was a little frozen still, so I wanted to give it plenty of time to sit in the heat and get good and cooked. After that, we'll just let that sit for a little while and brown up. While that's doing that, you're gonna wanna mix your eggs. Do not mix them too much, just have a nice yellow consistency. And then I will just take my chicken and push it to one side of the pan, dump the eggs right in, and then you are able to cook the eggs, just breaking them up as you go. Make sure you cook your egg just like you would for fried rice, not too much. Just get it nice and done, break it up, add your greens that you chopped earlier, and then we decided to use a store-bought pad thai sauce and a little bit of peanut butter from the cupboard. I find that mixing these two things together 
really gives you a great flavor and I have to say, it was delicious. After you add your sauce and peanut butter, get a good mix and then you're going to want to make sure that you dump your noodles right into all of this and give it good mixing while still on a low heat. Chop up a little bit of garnish, add your green onion, add a little bit of that cilantro and some of those uh, peanuts that we chopped up earlier and voila, you will have a delicious campsite pad thai that will knock your friend's socks off and it really isn't that hard to do. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Be well, my friends.